you absolutely know that this whole structure has to be a tongue. How do you know it? Well, first of all, you can see that on the surface lining, you have a non-keratinized stratified squamous mucosa. And like all uh, squamous mucosas, you have maturation from the basal layer up towards the flatter surface cells. You can see a lot of glands, probably of the serous variety, because they appear to have uh, the serous type of appearance in that they have a cytoplasm that is about as pink or eosinophilic as anything else around it, and the nuclei are not really displaced too much towards the base. But you can also see skeletal muscle fibers running every which way. And you know these are skeletal muscle fibers, I hope, because you can see some striations, perhaps not as well as I can, and you can also see that these nuclei are basically at the periphery of the fibers. Here are some fibers that are cut uh, axially, and you can see that the nuclei are all at the periphery of the fibers. There are none which are in the middle of the fibers. And then you can see some fibers here which are cut longitudinally, and you don't get a much of appreciation for the nuclei as being in the middle, but you do see tiny striations, and I know you can't see them as good as I do. Intermingled with these uh, intrinsic ton tongue muscles running every which way are glands, which look like basically serous glands because the nuclei are still round and not really pushed away towards the base, and the cytoplasm is standing about the same way as the cytoplasm of any other cell, rather than being totally washed out in white. Interesting structure here, which is why I'm showing it to you, is that uh, the stratified squamous mucosa is forming a um, structure which uh, looks like um, kind of like a big mushroom or something like that. I really don't want to use the word mushroom, but let's just say it looks like it's a big uh, castle and there is the moat and uh, these are the little squamous clefts which determine this structure and you can see that inside of the structure in the connective tissue you can see once again a lot of these serous glands but you could see that uh, this structure is designed in such a way that there are other specialized structures mixed in with the uh, surface epithelium which is part of this little moat and this is a circumvallate papilla, which is very rich in taste buds in the tongue. And they're usually in the uh, back of the anterior part of the tongue. And these little white structures here are the actual taste buds containing the cells, which will eventually uh, transform uh, taste chemicals into nerve impulses. If you are really, really lucky, you might see perhaps that one of these uh, taste buds will actually open quite nicely to the very surface through this little taste uh, pore, which you could see here. But there are both the uh, supporting cells in the taste bud as well as the um, neural cells, which initiate the uh, sense of taste. All of these glands, which are in proximity to the uh, pore to the taste buds are called von Ebner's glands. They are serous glands and they make sure that whatever uh, is interacting in that taste bud is dissolved because you cannot taste or smell anything unless it, unless it is dissolved and that's the reason for the serous glands secreting chiefly a watery fluid. These structures are the uh, ducts of the von Ebner's serous glands coming up towards the uh, base of the taste bud. So once again, I ask you, what in this entire slide can you not identify? You can see that these are serous glands. You can see the rest of this is skeletal muscle. You can see here's your surface squamous stratified squamous non-keratinized mucosa. You can see a circumvallate papilla here. You can see some more von Ebner's glands in it. You can see these individual taste buds. And dang, I don't think that uh, the shotgun has missed anything. Perhaps we might mention again that here is a duct from a serous Ebner's glands. And uh, here is a classic circumvallate papilla of the tongue. And I thank you very much.